In today's video, I'm exploring the Logo Creator GPT by Chase Lean. Currently, it's one of the trending GPTs and ranks number one in the DALI category. Let's start a new conversation with the Logo Creator GPT. This GPT offers two conversation starters, one to generate a logo featuring an ice cream, and the other to create an app icon for an RPG adventure game. I'm choosing the second option. It looks like the GPT needs more details about our requirements. It's asking us to answer four questions. The first question is about the desired style of the logo, with options like vibrant, neutral, and serious. Interestingly, there's also an option to skip all questions and directly create the logo. I'll explore that later. For now, I'm selecting a vibrant style, answering with A. The next question involves a scale from 1 to 10 to define the complexity of the logo, where 1 is clean and simple, and 10 is detailed and complex. I'm opting for a complexity level of 6. Then, we're asked about the color palette for the logo. The options include three preset color choices and custom colors. There is an additional choice to skip, and let the GPT decide. I'll specify green and brown for my color palette. The last question is about my preference, between a single logo, or a set of nine different designs. I'll go for the single logo option. The GPT now begins to create the app icon, using DAL-E's capabilities. And here we have it. A unique app icon created based on our specified requirements. With a complexity level of 6, the icon is quite detailed. Let's see what happens when I opt for a lower complexity level. I'll edit the previous request and change the complexity to level 2. Once I do that, the GPT restarts the process, and prompts me to answer the remaining questions again. I'll stick with the same answers as before for consistency. Now it's recreating the icon with the updated settings. Take a look at this icon. It's noticeably cleaner, and less detailed compared to the first one. The complexity level option is quite useful, allowing for both minimalistic and detailed designs. Next, I'm going to experiment with the option, to generate 9 logos at once. All I need to do is, change my previous answer to this option, and submit the request. Here we have 9 icons displayed together. This is quite an interesting feature. However, the layout seems a bit off, as the icons on both sides are partially cut off. Only the 3 in the center are fully visible and usable. Now, I'm going to try the option to generate 9 icons, but this time, with the initial complexity level of 6. All I need to do is adjust the request here, and change my previous answer to B, instead of A. Let's see how these logos turn out. This batch of 9 icons looks fantastic. Interestingly, all 9 icons are fully usable, because of better padding. It seems that the issue of icons being cut off on the sides, varies from one scenario to another. Next, I'm curious about, the skip all questions feature. So, I'll start a new conversation with this GPT to test it out. Now, I'm asking for a logo for an educational website, that uses AI to teach. I am getting the same questions again. Let me choose the last option to skip all questions, and generate the logo at once. Now, it's giving me the logo directly like this. It's a great option to create logos quickly. However, answering questions makes chat GPT understand the request better, and provide a better icon. Let me ask for more logos. This time, it asks us about the complexity level for the next logo. I am going to say 7. This time let me ask the GPT to choose the color palette for me. I am going to stick with one logo option here. Here, I've got a more complex logo, with completely different color palette. This looks great. However, I would've liked the ability to create more logos, without needing to answer questions again. Next, I want to test whether this GPT can remember my preferences, as a sort of template for future requests. I'm initiating a new conversation, and inputting this specific prompt. 
In it, I'm requesting the GPT to apply my predefined preferences, for each logo request. Then, I detail my preferences, for each of the four questions posed by the logo creator GPT. Additionally, I'm adding a line instructing chat GPT, not to ask any further questions, and proceed directly with creating the logo. Let's submit this and see how it goes. The logo creator acknowledges my listed preferences, and begins creating the logo. Since I didn't specify a specific topic, it seems like the result will be a randomly generated creation. I received a great logo that aligned with my preferences. Now, I'm interested in creating another logo with the same preferences. This time, I'm requesting a logo for a children's coding app. However, it seems to be starting from scratch again, asking the first question. It's not automatically applying my previous preferences. So, I'm going to specify again, that I want to use my earlier preferences. After doing so, it lists my preferences accurately, and begins the logo creation process. And here's the logo, created based on my specified preferences. I'm going to attempt one more. Let's see if this time it remembers the preferences without prompting. Unfortunately, it seems the GPT is reverting to asking the standard questions again, instead of automatically applying my previously stated preferences. I'll instruct it again to consider the preferences I've already set. It seems to correctly recall the necessary details. Now, it starts creating a logo according to my preferences. After several more attempts, the situation is the same. Unfortunately, it doesn't automatically use my preferences for logo creation. Yet, when I specifically ask it to, it does work effectively. This does help in skipping a few steps. That's all for this demonstration. I hope this gave you a clear picture of how to utilize the highly popular logo creator GPT. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and like this video to see more AI related videos.